Friday in the Kitchen with Chef Amy. Okay, yep. so you took a trip, first of all. Yeah, a big trip. A big well, old trip. It was 24 hours. It was fun filled and it was packed yes. with all kinds of excitement. Restaurants that Where, Where'd you go? Bloomington. Huh? Bloomington. Oh, okay. So about an hour, 15 yeah. minutes to get out there. Nice sunny day. We ended up um, staying at the Trail Winds at... Um, on the lake, and so oh, that was fun. Nice. So you stayed all night yeah. down there, huh? Yeah, one wow. night down there, and then we were able to go to C3 Restaurant. We went to Michael's Uptown um, Cafe, Love which it. has been a huge local favorite, and then we finished off at Farm. At Farm. So what's the purpose Good when stuff. you take these trips? Just so to, it's, it's to explore and to get inspiration um, and to learn what the locals love to have. Yes. Okay. And speaking of inspiration, perhaps maybe what you brought here today, Amy, what, what, were you inspired maybe in Bloomington? I was. So when we went to our last place, we did farm, and they had these fries that we absolutely loved. Okay. So these would be garlic um, Parmesan fries. And so they were able to put, they do fresh fries, and then they added Parmesan, chili flakes, and fresh garlic, yeah. and fresh parsley. So all these components are in the fries, but the aioli was the biggest surprise like a, of that. Oh, There's okay. so much flavor in that. And so for the next segment, I'm going to show you how to make an aioli mm. from scratch. I love aioli. You don't even know what aioli <laughs> is. You don't You're know. And I'm going to teach you how um, in the second segment. But again, yeah. um, going to Bloomington, you know, they were talking, restaurant owners talked to me about, you know, in the summertime, since COVID has happened, a lot of the students, um, they're all online right now for summer classes. So they go back oh, home. Okay. And so this is a great great time for other people to come down to Bloomington or up to Bloomington and enjoy the restaurant scene there because they have a huge international scene there as well with all the students there attending sure. at IU. Yeah. And so it's a great experience. Uh -huh. um, and so we went to the Hindu area. Um, wow. So we had some Zen with us as we were eating. We got to walk some it all zen. off. Yes. Um, and then of course the lake is really nice. But then yeah. going into town, doing all the fun shops um, and then exploring all the great oh, food. Oh, yeah, there, there you go. go. So, yeah, so that's at C3. We had a halibut. That's at um, Michael's Uptown. They have a great um, New Orleans influence. He went down there and was able to bring back that cuisine to Indi Indiana. Uh, there he is talking to me, super passionate about all the things that he has done over the years, expanding uh, the restaurant. And then, of course, there's food trucks. Oh, yeah. Um, and so we were able to grab some food truck items. And then, of course, there is our Zen, you know, in the Hindu. <laughs> area we were able to um learn about you know, monks and uh, just you know the religion and everything like that and so it was well, a learning experience it was a learning yeah. experience those are those famous fries and of course with a craft cocktail gotta mm. love it yeah. yeah so we'll get into that that second segment we'll be eating fries oh, so we're not eating the first segment <laughs> we're not eating in the first segment no oh, no well you gotta hang around you I gotta guess. hang mm. around right, i am right. so curious though because bloomington has so much to offer yeah so many things to do so many things to see yes are, are people surprised like ah oh. That's in Bloomington? Yes. Oh, I mean, people so are surprised, like Switchyard, Switchyard, yeah. the brewery. You know, you can get that here at, you know, the local grocery stores. But they're, um, you know, remember, they're the ones that got rid of the tipping system oh, first. Okay. And so they be, made national news. And so I really love that, you know, yeah. their program. And I love uh, the scene. And I love their product. And they have this lavender blonde uh, craft beer that's just unique to them and amazing. Yeah. Um, it's just a welcoming town. Um, you see my daughter down there? I did not. She's I a did nurse not. In Bloomington. Oh, she is. She really is yeah. yeah I, I mean, again, the students. I was hoping students... you stop by and say hi. To her I really. know. I'm sorry. Just hey, did not have you, time you in that 24 you've hours. You're hiding over here. Yeah. This matches me. Yeah. It's oh, look how cute is that? <laughs> I know. Look how. I mean, like that's super fun. So when you're going to, you know, you're doing your Memorial Day yes. outings and stuff. It's always great to have some fun, different beer and like that. You know, the lavender blonde. That's so pretty. That's fun. Delicate, unique, and floral. Just like me. Just like <laughs> 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 Amy, thank you so much.